The kip is a tricky skill to learn. It takes lots of strength and lots of patience. In this tutorial, we'll break down the skill and offer some tips to help you succeed. To begin, the gymnast jumps to the bar in a pike position with straight arms and straight legs. The toes are pointing toward the floor. The head is in a neutral position between the arms and the eyes are looking toward the floor. The glide extends fully with the gymnast keeping her feet as close to the floor as possible and keeping her head in a neutral position. As the glide finishes, the gymnast looks to the bar and lifts her feet to the bar, keeping her legs straight and tight. The gymnast then pushes her feet up toward the ceiling, hitting a candlestick position. Legs and arms should be straight and tight. Shoulders should be round in the hollow position. This movement, which is similar to pulling on a pair of pants, and the candlestick position create a more equal weight distribution around the bar and allow the gymnast to more easily rotate up on top of the bar. As the gymnast rotates up, she keeps her arms straight with the bar against her body just below her hips. She looks for her toes over the bar, creating a slight pike. This puts her in the ideal position to cast out of the kip. As the gymnast brings her feet to the bar, it's important for her to push her feet up rather than to whip them down toward the floor. Letting her feet drop or whipping her feet toward the ground, the gymnast is moving energy away from the bar rather than toward it. Similarly, it's important that the gymnast not arch during the skill, as doing so will move energy away from the bar and not around the bar. It's important to keep the bar close to the body throughout the skill. Since the closer the center of rotation is to the body, the easier it is for the gymnast to rotate up on top of the bar. Thank you for watching this tutorial. We hope it's helped you out and we look forward to seeing you again soon.